mountain in the way, okay? So enjoy, everybody have fun. Every 15th. How come these are set up so low that you look at them? Because that's... They are parked on a regular basis with their astronomy club, but they're very gracious to come out and assist Jamie and I. 12 and a half inch mirror, and the amount of magnification, which I've put about 80 power on here, in about 40 seconds, it will completely go off the field of focus. That's how fast, what are we standing on? Earth. That's how fast Earth is rotating. There you go. That's Saturn, baby. Can that's you Saturn. see? Just above it, that's what we're looking at. So uh, this is Saturn. Oh, wow. um, it's a really big nice. gas giant. It's actually about 880 million miles away right now. Oh, wow. Earth is actually. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Scroll down until I see something uh -huh. I want to look at, like uh, Andromeda, the uh, galaxy Andromeda, yeah. which is the nearest galaxy to our own galaxy, which is the Milky Way. Hey. Okay. About a billion miles. Okay. Wrong direction. This way, a little bit more lower. Take you about 1,500 years to get out there. Okay. You get a lot of this knob right here, you can see that. Uh -huh. That focuses this IP. See the eyepiece go in and out. Oh, and so, so it won't so, be so blurry? So yeah, so if it's blurry to you, go ahead and just play with the focus a little bit. And we take another 20 second exposure of the Milky Way. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. It still up there when it started, yeah, it's still timing down so I can get it. That's a 20 second. I'll be Bob, what is the scope looking at? We're looking at Saturn. Yeah, you can see the rings. Have a look right through here. Mm -hmm. You can use your glasses. <gasps> That's awesome. If we take a look up and we look at this star, it's actually a double star. Now that I've pointed it out, if you'll look really hard at about 2 o'clock, you might see a faint little second star.
are basically two separate keys. Hi, I'm Bob Gent, uh, president of the Huachuca Astronomy Club from Sierra Vista, Arizona. I'm also one of the RIM astronomers for the Arizona Park uh, State Park System. And tonight we're having our, uh, we do a semi-annual star night here at Karchner Caverns. A great place for dark skies and bright stars. So we have a lot of telescopes set up and we also have the astronomers from Birdie Valley here. And uh, hope you enjoy the evening. Great, tell us a little bit about your scope. Okay, this is a, an eight inch Newtonian. Uh, it's built by Celestron, eight inch diameter mirror and is F5, meaning the focal length is five times the length of the uh, primary mirror. So I put an eyepiece here and I can change eyepieces and change magnification, change field of view. I can also put a camera here and take pictures. This has a computer drive, so it's a, a clock drive Newtonian. So I can actually, once I get it aligned, point it to an object by dialing it into the computer. This I'm just setting up right now is an Obsession 18. It's an 18 inch Dobsonian type telescope. Um, the eyepiece would be here. Of course, the mirrors are closed or covered up right now, but the primary mirror is in this box at the bottom. And um, right now it's, it's set up to, to move manually, but uh, later tonight I'll have it driving from this uh, dual axis drive system called the ServoCat. So it'll be a go to scope. I'll be able to use a remote control and uh, dial in an object on this Argo Novice digital telescope computer and then direct the telescope to wherever it wants, wherever I want it to go. model scope that's uh, a Odyssey, and it was made probably at about 1967. It's uh, uh, got uh, uh, an F5.6 uh, focal length, and it's uh, pretty fast uh, optics, but uh, it, it still works excellent. There's great, no problem. Great optics. Yeah. I remember from last year. Yeah. Good optics. And what are and, some of the things you're going to look at tonight? Well, we're going to see perhaps if we can we can spot Rita Hayworth floating through the heavens. But uh, this has, uh, uh, what, what this object is here is something I made uh, where if I'm going to be, I just put it on so that it uh, doesn't allow dust or bugs to get in there. But this, this comes uh, off and <clears throat> it allows us uh, to just look at one part of the mirror which will give you a, a lot better definition of the craters of the moon and things like that if there's a moon. I'm Ted Forte from the Huachuca Astronomy Club in Sierra Vista and this is just a little 60 millimeter refractor that I've set up with something called a sun funnel. This, this is really just a plastic funnel like you uh, would get in a hardware. This came from Walmart 
and this rubberized material is rear projection screen. Uh, there's an eyepiece, eyepiece at the base of the funnel. It just projects this image of the sun onto the screen. And is that a sunspot that we can see? There we, you can see at least the two larger sunspots. And some of the smaller ones are just barely visible. You have to get the right angle to see it. But this is a great way to show the sun to kids. If they don't have to find it in the eyepiece, you can, you can put them on a ladder and a bunch of them can see it at once and you can explain what you're looking at. Great, thanks for coming out. You're welcome. The difference is, well, you heard him talking about it the other night. Yeah. yeah. The size of the aperture. Hi, I'm Kim Rogalski, and uh, this is the Cochise College uh, H Alpha Telescope. Uh, which we bring to um, events such as this. It shows the sun's upper atmosphere, chromosphere of the sun. And I it's checked it sun, lately, uh, but. Uh, see some flares on the yeah. lower left. Yeah, that's so cool. But see the. See the hey, tell us about your scope. Uh, it's just a relatively simple 4 inch F10 refractor. And what sorts of things will you be looking at tonight? I'm going to try to check up on some clusters and do a little bit of spectral work with it. I bought a spectroscope not too long ago. Great. Thanks for coming out to the park tonight. Oh, I think it's fun. This is the third time I've been here. And uh, I've always bought, brought smaller scopes. Uh, Tell us this, about this scope. Well, this is a little 90 millimeter F6. And it's got a uh, absolutely exquisite set of optics. I'm really amazed. Uh, I just bought this mounting for it, which is a fairly easy Aldazmuth mount, very easy to work with. Great for kids. You can turn them loose with a telescope and they just go crazy. The first chocolate chip that you see on there is a sunset. Hi, my name is uh, J.D. Maddy. I'm with the astronomers of Verde Valley. And what uh, setup we have here is uh, dedicated solar viewing equipment. Uh, the smaller scope on top here, the black scope, actually is a normal uh, visual telescope with a special mirror solar filter. Uh, this telescope allows you to see uh, sunspots. And then the small white scope here is a dedicated solar telescope, but it sees in the red wavelengths or the hydrogen alpha wavelengths of light, which allows you to see by using the special pressurized tuner the solar prominences and solar flares and surface details such as the facula and spicules on the surface of the sun. It's an oldie but a goodie. Got this one in Canada in 1983. And uh, parts of it are bent and parts of it are warped and screws are missing, but it works beautifully. I'm David Raymer. I'm with, with the Huachuca um, Astronomical Club, uh, Astronomy Club. Um, today you see my little travel scopes. Uh, this is an 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain. Um, it's set up for uh, solar viewing, so there's a um, solar filter on the front that um, bounces off most of the light, so there's just a little bit of light comes through, so it's safe to view. And above it is another little telescope, also set up for solar viewing. This one views the sun in just a very thin band of visible light called hydrogen alpha. So it shows as a little red orb. Um, the beauty of that is that it, we're actually able to see the upper atmosphere of the sun. So you get to see things like filaments and flaring around the edges and um, just the beauty dynamics um, of the sun that you normally can't see in white light. And what sort of objects will we, will we look at tonight? Ah, tonight all these filters come off so that it's ready for the, for the night sky. Um, and we're going to see, we'll see essentially from the core of our galaxy out on one of our galaxy's arms. One of the arms of our, um, what we think now is probably a, a elliptical galaxy. And we'll see things like um, double stars, multiple stars, uh, planetary nebula, um, diffuse um, nebula, planetary nebula, globular clusters, open clusters. It, it's almost endless. Great, thanks for coming out. Thank you. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Richard Bonner. I'm with the Astronomers of Verde Valley. And this type of a telescope is a uh, schmidt cassegrain type telescope. This is an 8-inch go-to type scope uh, with a computer inside. And by pressing menu buttons here, I can actually automatically slew to different objects like planets or stars or galaxies and that type of thing. 8-inch uh, is probably a good starting type uh, scope for deep sky stuff. Uh, it gives you enough aperture for the light that you'll need to uh, actually see some of the dimmer objects in our sky, like galaxies and that. Now you can talk. Take your sunglasses off. <laughs> so he's got to put his sunglasses on me. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll take my sunglasses off and squint.